Hey guys, uh, lately with uh, my videos, people are kind of asking, hey, maybe you should do a video uh, where you show how you build and how you program all that. Because uh, I guess there's a video online that, that show what to build, quiet stuff like that. But really, uh, what I'd like to do in this one, I would like to do a build video from A to Z with no step skip. So that way, if somebody is not too sure how to go flash uh, ESC into BLE, uh, uh, I'm going to show how to do it and how to flash uh, NASA in uh, better flight. I'm going to show also how to do that. So uh, that's going to be in a nutshell the video I'm going to make. So it's going to be a series. So this one's going to be the first one where I introduce the parts I'm going to use for the build. And it's going to follow up as the stuff I come in and we're going to start to build the quads. So if you, if it's something that you're interested in watching, just make sure that you subscribe and uh, you keep up to date on the uh, a future video that's going to come up. So just to give you a heads up of what's coming, people that um, that watch my uh, videos knows that I really like the mini uh, the uh, QAV210 from uh, Get FPV, but I'm going to build a new one, a QAV210 again, and uh, basically it's going to be my number two. It's a really nice size, 210. It's almost as light as 180, but the advantage is you can run 5 inch prop. So it's super light, you can run 5 inch prop, and it's, it's difficult to, buy, to beat. It's a good size. So let's go with the, uh, the build, what I'm going to put in. So I receive already the, uh, the quad, so I build it already. I, uh, I got my OSD in there. And I got my uh, NASE board already in there. It's F3 from the uh, FPV model. I'm going to go show it to you in the links. And uh, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. And also, when you get the quad, you get a piece of a foam. So basically, I cut pieces of that and make a landing gear out of it. It's like the new QAVR landing gear except that you don't get one with those but you can use what you got in the box and you can make yourself a nice foamy uh, landing gear that's good to absorb the landing good or bad so that's all for that and uh, let's go to yeah that's the website uh, that's my review of the first one it's going to be still up there but I'm going to make uh, probably a follow-up on that page right on top so as it go on I'm gonna make a link down in that video with the link to the uh, stuff that I'm gonna use for that one so let's go with the equipment I'm gonna use in this one the OSD I'm using is from rudderge.com it's a RR OSD Pro Mini it's a super nice small OSD, $35. It's basically simple, but you get all the info that you need for flying. So it's a nice OSD. And at the same time, it, it's used as a power distribution board. So that's it for that. For the NASE board, I'm using the X Racer F303 from FPV model. Really good reviews. It's sold out right now, but I suspect that they're gonna have a new one coming up. This one doesn't have a buzzer on it uh, for the uh, voltage monitoring, but I'm gonna use via my OSD, so it's not a big deal. But I think the new ones can have a, a be a VBAT monitoring on it. And now to Arby King. I'm using the DYS XM20 amp ESC. I'm pretty sure that uh, right now it's it's one of the best on the market. So I'm going to use that. The nice thing about this one is you get the pad already to solder your motor lead right into it. 
and if you want to save on this right now Abi can get a super deal uh, some people don't like them but I, I'm using those on uh, my ZMA 180 and they work good the five bucks each what else I'm gonna use for my Abi King I'm gonna use those They are smaller M5 nuts for your motor. What else I'm gonna use? I am gonna use it. I've been using that on the QAV I really like it. You get a, a buzzer on it, plus you get some LED uh, light that you can uh, program in your uh, maze board. I like it. And for 266, you can do that. And that's it from there. And the rest of the stuff I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a, a Foxy TM600 from Surveillance Zone for 30 bucks. The semi connector. You can go with 200. If, you, if you're flying with lots of people, it's probably better if you go with 200 instead of 600. And after that. Uh, HS 1177 uh, camera. I'm using the 2.8 IR sensitive so that way I can fly at night. NTSC and top connector. What else I'm using? I am using those props. They are the um, DL. DAL props 50-45 tri-blade and Sony Sky Motor for 15 bucks each there's different option on there I just want to use those on this build 2300 KV and what else yeah for the um, the video uh, transmitter usually I uh, remove the um, SMA connector to it and I do attach not this but the cable direct to the uh, VTX I can show later in uh, another video what to do that that way you uh, you get a, a cable so that way if you crash or something you won't destroy your uh, video transmitter, you're gonna only destroy maybe the cable and antenna. I'm gonna use this seven dollar, it's a spiral net antenna. It really, it's really similar to uh, uh, the spiral net that sell for way more than that, and that is about it for the build so keep an eye for uh, the next uh, videos and uh, the next one will be probably the hardware installation and from there it's going to be BLE uh, program of the USC and bit of light programming of the uh, board and that's gonna be about it for the build so if you like that make sure you subscribe and uh, so you can keep up with the uh, future videos that's gonna come up I suspect it will take about two to three weeks to get the parts to come coming from China it's always slow but uh, yeah that's gonna be a nice build so uh, share comment and uh, Stay in touch. Happy flying. Bye.